What's up guys, this is Chaos Link, and welcome to the next part of my Super Mario Galaxy playthrough. And in this part we're going to start off a new galaxy, the Toy Time Galaxy, which is actually one of my personal favorite galaxies. Because of the awesome music. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just a remix of the, uh, Super Mario Brothers theme, just in, like, toy time, like, squeakiness. Pretty awesome. I hope you can hear it. Because my TV's already up pretty loud, but the iToy doesn't really catch it that well. Wonder, since it's pretty far from my TV, so you can hear my voice better. Yeah, if you noticed that when I got my Dazzle, um, I moved the camera over to my desk where my, um, I'm sitting. And you, my voice has been a lot louder. You won't have, you didn't have to turn up your computer volume, really. Um, but now I have it moved closer to me, so the TV's a little bit harder to hear. Which I guess is either a good or a bad thing, depending on. <laughs> you get stuck in the hole. Depending on if you liked hearing my voice or not, that was either a good or a bad thing for you. But if you didn't like it, I apologize. Oh god, get away from me. There's a lot of crazy gravity in this place as well. Hold on, I'll be right back once the phone stops ringing. Alright, I'm back, sorry about that. Um, from now on I'm going to try to catch it when the phone rings. My phone's like really loud. So I apologize for that. And... Yeah, getting on with the Toy Time Galaxy. There's lots of star bits in this place. Like in between the launch stars. And here we have my least favorite power up in the entire game. You've seen it before in this playthrough if you've been watching the Beach Ball Galaxy, but this is the first time it's technically supposed to be seen in the game. Like, if you're actually playing through the game, this is the first time that you'd see it. Unless you somehow got through this game without, with, by skipping this galaxy altogether, which I don't think is possible. <laughs> you can't do a spin attack when you're in this form either, which kind of sucks. You're literally defenseless. Unless you want to perfectly align yourself above an enemy and then ground pound. Like... That. That's even harder to do. But as soon as you go into a launch star, you lose the power, so thank god. I hate that power so much. And here I have to get it again! God, I lost it again. And here we are with Mecha Bowser, which actually this is a really stupid looking Bowser, if it's supposed to be him, even. Um, when I first had this game and I uh, heard there was a Mecha Bowser level, I thought, oh my god, yes, they brought back the one from Super Mario Sunshine. Um, but then when I got this game, I was severely disappointed to find out that that wasn't true. Well, it, it was true that there was a Mecha Bowser level, because this is it, but... It wasn't the one that we know and love. From Super Mario Sunshine. That was one of the one highlights of uh, Mario Sunshine, that battle with um, Mecha Bowser. With the roller coaster and the spray gun. Or flood. I guess you did use flood on that still. And you like suck up rockets and stuff and shoot them at him. That was pretty awesome. I'd replay that level over and over again. Oh yeah, the pipe's down here. Do, 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 do. And the music for this part of the level is boring to me. 
It's pretty cool, but it's just like, it's fitting, I guess, for the level. Okay, I'm gonna stop griping. I've been complaining about this level too much. Complaining is not good. And those are like those ice bats in the freeze flying galaxy. I've said these won't go away from you once you hit them. Then the arm starts to fall off, so you gotta hurry. We slowly destroy this thing. You don't get to rip the other arm off, though. And you do need to get Spring Mario again. This is another reason why I don't like this level very much. At least the star. Okay, you need to die. That's right, squeal. Camilla ain't gonna come save you. Woohoo! Oh god. If you get hit by anything, you'll lose Spring Mario. And this is destroying it. Boom. And then the whole thing just bursts. Well, oh, that was a long star. Well, stay tuned for the next star. Hopefully I'll have time to fit it in. But I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, this next star is a pretty cool one, and I think I'll have time to fit it in. You can see that Mario over there. You can tell the stars on his foot, because it's lit up like the stars. Um, but this is actually one of my favorite stars of this galaxy. Um, basically you land on a giant 8-bit Mario. And the majority of the level is on top of that 8-bit Mario. Which is pretty awesome. But before that, you have one of these dumb starship collecting things. Which, I'm not a big fan of these, but oh well. This is still like my favorite Mario game, regardless. Crap. That's where the hidden star is, don't want to go over there. Must find star chips. Make sure you get that star chip. I don't know how it's possible to not get that star chip when you're going up here, but some, if you somehow find a way to not get that star chip, make sure you get that star chip. Because <laughs> once you screw that screw in, you're not going to be able to get back. And then conveniently, the launch star appears where that one is, so. And then here we go to the 8-bit Mario! Yay! And there's even a star bit M on his cap, which I think is pretty awesome. And be careful you watch where you're stepping here, because the uh, yellow platforms will um, disappear, or the yellow platforms will turn when you step on them, and then the green ones will slowly vanish. I actually think the yellow ones are deadlier, because it's easy to get caught on them and you're, you can't jump off them, so... And, of course, the red ones are lava. So those are not good to touch. Um, but the 100 coin, uh, purple coin challenge in this galaxy is actually a reverse of this. It's the other side of this platform, and it's, uh, Luigi. And, trust me, that's hard, because it's, like, the same platforms and such, uh, stuff. But the lava is replaced with dark matter, so if you touch it, you die. Pretty nasty. Um, but that does it for this part. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me five star reviews down below this video and subscribe to my videos up in the corner. Uh, this is Chaos Link, and I'll see you guys later.